and so you're waiting for some form of interaction. <laughs> some connection. You watch the wall, but it doesn't talk to you until it does, but it's pretty colored. Nice design. But without that interaction, the wall is unnoticed. So now there's probably an interaction, possibly, an interaction with a thought. Oh, he's straight to be. <laughs> oh, he's laughing. But without that interaction, there's none. I trust that my point is made to the ones that can understand it thus far. Now to dive a little deeper. Do you even know what you're interacting with? Do you know that like interaction is the gravity? Interaction is gravity. And if you look at a planet, you see that it's held together by gravity. That's a self-contained unit because of gravity. And it doesn't give a shit too much about whatever else is out there, although there is interaction and blah blah blah. The point is this. In the vastness of space, think about space. Look at space. This wall behind me doesn't even fucking just go beyond it. Just keep looking. Past that. Past that. Beyond. Farther. In every direction. Space. Do it. Don't sit here and be like, whoa, this dude's out there and shit. Do it. Look beyond that fucking wall right there. Beyond it. Don't even... Nah, the colors ain't there. Keep looking. I can feel it. I can feel it. I can feel it. You ain't with me yet. Okay, you're going to do this, right? You want to look past the wall? You want to look through it? You want to see the stars in that wall? You want to see the other stars? Beyond the stars? The black holes? The other galaxies? Shit that you ain't never even imagined, conceived of? Beyond that wall to infinity. Stretching. That's the vastness of this openness. And what your interaction does is it spins a little fucking planet within all of that, all of this, all of the vastness.
the infinity that you just saw. When you interact in a relationship, look at what happens. Prior to a relationship, you had infinite possibilities. I could be with whoever I want, whenever I want, however I want. All the magical people in the world, the greatest things come to you or were there. All possibilities existed. It's a vast expansiveness of infinity. But you interacted with somebody. So you just took infinity and whoosh. <laughs> now it's me and you. That's pretty clear. That's pretty clear. Because the interaction between you and them took all of this into this. Now you're a planet. Spinning in the vastness of the everything. But you forget that. <laughs> The vastness of everything. You get self-contained in your own little planet. And all options disappear. Because you're caught up so heavily in your gravity of interaction. You're dense. You're... <laughs> Like a black hole, just sucking everything into that interaction. Your whole fucking kids, family, job, life, every fucking thing. That can be a beautiful thing. And it can be an ugly thing. I mean, there's different planets. Some are violence, chaos, and others that seem seemingly have harmony. And beauty, as described by the mind. But nevertheless, each planet, whether it's violent or harmonious, rests in the vastness of what you saw. The infinite. But you forget that. This earth this little rock we're, we're sitting on right now is spinning in the vastness of the infinite. Through its own interaction is its gravity. By this interaction right here, this is gravity between me and you. When this interaction ceases, when I hit that stop button, you're going to watch the gravity dissipate. And then you're going to move on to whatever else. It's kind of like the Earth getting hammered by a, another planet, an asteroid, shatters into billions of pieces. The interaction stops, changes, and it goes to something different. And gravity will surround that. All within the vastness of this. It can frag out. Or it can form its own interactions. So if you look in your life, this is what I want to convey to you. Your jobs, your relationships, are interactions. They are gravity to you. They are gravity. They are gravity. Your interactions... It, is gravity. Your interaction is gravity. 
it holds you there because you interact with it. And if you want released from something, then you have to stop interacting with it. And you can interact with something else and form a different planet. But see this interaction that's going on right now? There's gravity. It's right here. There's me, you, and this. <laughs> Until this.